Mm-hmm. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how to clean up Snap package versions in Linux. So uh, if you are a heavy user of SnapD to install your uh, packages on the Linux uh, distro you are using, then uh, the, uh, there is a negative point of Snap that all the packages that are installed using Snap have a usually bigger size and that can take a lot of space on your hard drive. And uh, by default, uh, Snap saves two versions uh, of uh, the package you have installed on the system uh, before deleting it. But at a, at any particular time, you would you would have to install uh, two packages for uh, two version of packages for the same uh, package. So the one with one that you have installed and currently running will be the latest and there will be a package for a previous release of that package, but it will be marked as disabled because it is not being used. So, uh, but it will still take the uh, space in your disk. So the best way to check if, uh, the, if they uh, check how much space SnapD is using is to run the following command and it will print out the sto- uh, storage that is being used by snapd so var lib snapd sorry snapd and as you can see over here it will print how much storage it is being used by the snapd daemon so as you can see over here, mine is 2.3, yours may be higher. So depending on the packages that you have installed using Snap. You can also use a GUI tool for uh, disk uh, uses, usage analyzer GUI to check what packages are what packages are using how much space on your disk. That is also a handy uh, tool that you can use. So after that, uh, what you can do is list out all the packages that you have installed on your uh, OS. And it will show any packages that are outdated and there is a latest version of that package installed as disabled in the nodes. As you can see over here, I don't have any disabled packages over here. I recently ran the, uh, the cleanup script which I will be showing you uh, now uh, to delete all the disabled packages that uh, were installed on the system. So let's take a look at the script that we will be using. So what this script does is, it is a bash script, so it is easier for us to understand. So what it does is it runs uh, this command, first of all, to list all the packages that are installed on our system. And after that, it looks, uh, it uses AWX for uh, look, uh, looking for any string that is uh, in a row uh, that has a disabled text within it. And after that, it prints out the first and second argument of that row. So let's run the command again. And as you can see over here, it will look for disabled word in all the rows. So in the node section, as it shows over here base, there will it will show disabled and it will, it will look for that keyword. And after that, it will print out first and second, second uh, first and third uh, row of the printed uh, argument so first row will be the name of the package and the third argument will be this version number this uh, the second argument is the space between these rows so we will print out the third argument which is the uh, version number and after we have that information uh, we will do while read uh, and this will uh, get all the this information in the revision variable and do a snap remove of that package with that specific revision number that we got from over here and it will remove all the packages from 
uh, that are disabled from your system. So we will first need to make the script executable. So for that, just do sudo chmod plus x and the name of the file that you will be creating and hit enter and this will make the script executable and you will need sudo privileges to run the script because uh, snap remove is a sudo privilege command so just do sudo dot dash and the uh, name of the script file and hit enter and as you can see here i know uh, i didn't have any disabled packages installed so it is showing uh, no output over here but if you have a disabled package install it will print out each package name that is being removed from the system so that's it for this video and i hope you liked it and i will be sharing this script in the description below so you can uh, copy and use it for your system and thanks for watching do, if you have any questions do comment down below and uh, do subscribe to our channel hit that like button it really helps uh, the video and our channel thank you